Hello people, this is White Tiger and this is going to be a little tutorial on how to read ebooks on your computer. This is going to be specifically for Kindle ebooks, which is Amazon's personal e-reader. But Kindle is basically the most widely used one, so if you need to read an ebook, it should have a Kindle format. Uh, but if you want to read Nook ebooks or anything like that, there may be other programs out there for that, but this little tutorial will be specifically for the Kindle ebook and that should cover all your bases more or less. Um, anyway, this tutorial I decided to do it because a lot of people were asking about how to read Holly Leaf's story because this is a warrior's book that only comes out in ebook format and has no hard copy and a lot of people thought they couldn't read this book without, without buying an e-reader for a hundred pounds or dollars or whatever you want to call it um, but you can with this little tutorial and the program that I'll show you what, what to do uh, it's absolutely free and I'll just show you how to do it now so if you go to your browser and in my case Google Chrome you're gonna want to go to Amazon itself and the quickest way to do this is to simply go to Google and search Kindle PC app and the top link that will come up will be a link to Amazon and their PC app and there you go Kindle for PC and mine is .co.uk but if you're in America or anywhere else it will be .com probably uh, don't worry about that, it's just because I'm from the UK and it's got .co.uk instead of .com. Uh, so there it is, it's available for Windows 7, Vista and XP. And if I just show you quickly here, there's other apps available for iPhone, iPad, Android, Windows, Mac, iPad and Android tablet. If you want to use it for any of those, they are available, but this will just show you how to do it for your PC. So what you're going to want to do is click download now and you'll get a pop-up window here to save it so you want to save it to wherever you you usually save these things um, but I'm not going to do that right now because I've already got it on this computer and it's easier if I don't make you wait around and watch so you just save it and then you're going to want to run it once it's downloaded from wherever you saved it and here it just shows you how to do it as well you just click, simply run it and then it will install and then once it's downloaded it will be saved to wherever you've saved it in my case on my desktop so load it up uh, if you have any questions about that, ask in the comments below and I'll try and help you. So here it is, Kindle for PC. You'll have three books, uh, these three here. Uh, all the others on there are ones that I've downloaded myself. And it's a very simple program to use. You just simply open up the book and you can read through it like that, all the pages, very quickly. You get a simple uh, thing down the side here for the cover, table of contents, um, and you can also look up uh, beginning there as well you can look up pages you can also make notes as well and all this sort of thing and you can search for things if you want to look for a specific word or passage in a book it's all the sort of same sort of things you will get if you have the e-reader itself uh, one thing it does not have is for what I've learned it has not certain ebooks such as The Last Hope which is one you saw on the page there it comes with uh, extras which include videos. Now videos will not work with this program. They will only work with the e-reader and maybe other devices like the iPhone. But other than that, it's basically got everything you need if you want to read it on your computer. So now I'll just show you how to get an e-book. You simply go back to your browser and we're going to go back to Amazon. So we're going to go to Amazon.co.uk. Sorry, my computer's a little laggy here. Uh, it plays up when I try to record. Anyway, back to Amazon now. <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me and we're gonna search for in just for this example I'm gonna search for a free ebook you can also get any ebooks on this site um, you don't, it doesn't even have to be Amazon uh, as long as it well it's probably best to get it on Amazon because uh, that's when you're gonna find all the Kindle ebooks but anyway you can get a Kindle ebook that's fine but I'm just gonna show you Amazon and I'll quickly show you now Holly Lee's story which is the main one I was talking about there you go you can just buy that and download it and read it straight in the app but for this example I'm just going to show you a book I haven't got which is just this free book here um, when you go to buy Holly Lee's Story or anything else you can go buy now and go into your account and buy it like you would anything else but just for this example I'm just going to click buy now and because this is free it's going to go straight to the screen that will appear after the payment but because I haven't, I haven't got to pay because it's free it will just go straight here so once you paid it will go to this screen here now this screen you just simply go go to Kindle for PC and uh, it will load up a little window here just saying Google Chrome needs to launch an external program and you just click launch application you can also tick this little box saying remember my choice for links of this type which basically means this won't come up next time 
when you uh, download an ebook and it's going to load your program here and there you go it's loaded up my new book here free falling I have no idea what it is I just clicked it for this uh, example and there you go and you can start reading straight away you've got you've got your chapters down the side you've got the search you've got your thing anything you really need here and that's all there is to it really so there's Holy Leaf story and that is how I personally read it because I really don't have an e-reader I prefer I much prefer having hard book copies but for the case of this I, I, I wanted to read Holy Leaf story so this was the best thing for me and hopefully if you haven't got an e-reader and you want to read these books then this will be helpful for you if you have any questions please uh, put comments in the comment section below all the links for this will be in the description um, so I hope this has helped see you later